Hello and welcome to Boxed Up Vibes. Uh, Wesley Chris joined with uh, Miss Vena Jenkins. Hello. Last week she wasn't able to uh, come in and do an episode, so I'm excited to have her here again today. Uh, get back on topic with some of the vibes that uh, we like to discuss. Um, real quick, I mean, I guess we can jump in with the uh, uh, vaccine. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. The trial. The trial. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and like get a fresh update of what's going on. So I literally just read like 10 minutes before we started that the uh, third accuser or whatever, uh, they just did her video and like she said her real name and stuff. And Oh, wow. Yeah. It was, um, I didn't finish reading it, but she uh, she was 16 Oh, when it, all, when it all happened. Wow. But I don't know what the outcome was or what happened. Which, I mean, like leading up to the whole trial, excuse me, leading up, like they had all these documentaries come out about like Epstein and Epstein Island and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. That have been out there already. So it's like this stuff has already had like its first initial wave. Right. Uh, and I feel like they're doing a lot better job the second wave. They're, they were, they're more, more prepared. I feel like to like have their little cover ups because I feel yeah, like yeah. a lot of the people that are speaking up, man, I don't really agree with the way that, that you know they've been talked to and the way that they've been treated. I kind of feel like you know um, they're just hearing what they have to say and then it's just on to the next one. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. I feel I feel like uh, the people that are doing it were chosen for a reason. You know oh yeah, what I mean? most definitely. In certain ways, like the judge, especially, especially, but yeah, I, yeah, I do think it's kind of. I think it's messed up with how quickly they're trying to like rush through the whole thing you know like, right. they, they, like i think i read something that it said that they were like trying to come to a decision like by the weekend or by the end of yeah. next weekend or something like that i feel like though with uh epstein they didn't have time like it all was just like boom 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 one after the other but then she went to jail and they had all this time to figure out you know what they wanted to do and right yeah and absolutely like their plot yeah for <laughs> sure of how they were going to approach things most definitely so i mean i hope that uh, more people become aware of what's going on and what's actually being said and the names that are still kind of in my opinion being like kept secret kept covered up you know and I think they just released more too did they names yeah did they well I will definitely have to uh, take a gander at that and see what's out there now but like I said it's just something I feel like that a lot of people need to pay attention to and, and understand like what this pertains to what these people were doing uh, you know I feel like a lot of a name that I hear a lot is Trump. And Trump this, Trump that, and stuff that in the media side of things, whenever it comes to the Epstein talks and st- or the Epstein Island talks and stuff, uh, and I feel like that you know there, there's a lot of names that have been mentioned. Yeah, like absolutely. Bill Clinton and stuff like that. You know that that, that, that no one's even talking about, especially celebrities. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. with, I find it weird that we're in like cancel cu- culture or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But like nobody got canceled over it that I know of. Right. That was listed, well, so it's everyone's like, still asleep, in my opinion. You yeah. know, there's still a lot of people that are asleep that just uh, I don't know. It's the fact that they uh, refuse to believe, like you know, what's going on. Um, but I mean, it's like I told someone the other day. You kind of just need to like take a step back, uh, analyze life, right. analyze the world, look around you. You know, to your left and right, like really take a deep look and like accept what is our reality. Oh, like, for sure. We live yeah. in a pretty like fucked up, sick world right now. For sure. And a lot of it is coming to uh, the surface, and a lot of these people that are the uh, people doing this are the people that your politicians, the people that are running the damn show. Right. That do everything. I do find it um, a little odd too that like back when Epstein got real big or everything, everybody's about save the children. You remember all that? Yeah, yeah. And like it, there's it's nowhere now. There's nowhere. Yeah, I, I, I agree. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. I was. You don't see any kind of Save the Children Mm-mm. posts or anything like that. No, not at all. I will agree with that. I, that is something I, I did notice. Now, I have noticed, like, there's there are people, a lot of uh, TikTokers on, on their platforms that are speaking about it. Right, yeah. But since the trial has started, um, I feel like they've been ghosted. For sure, yeah. <laughs> like, I haven't seen, I think I've seen it on the news once, but it wasn't, like, a long, you know what I mean? Like, it was a quick little thing. And yeah. then I think I've seen it on Facebook twice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, it, it will continue to unfold, and I hope that uh, more people become aware. I know I'm, I'm going to constantly m- mention it any chance that I get. Uh, I think it's very, very important that people are aware because it's not just, you know, yeah, it's bad that these celebrities and all these people like that are doing these things, 
but there are so many like people that are suffering from something similar to this in their own families in their own environments and stuff like that and they may be scared to speak up and say anything and that's why i think it's so important um that we get the message out that this for one this trial is going on and what it's going about and what these people are standing up and talking about you know and what they're Absolutely. saying uh, and maybe it would give somebody that has gone through it the courage to stand up and say something themselves about you know right w- w- what's going on with them you know like for sure yeah i agree my views on it um moving on i guess uh, off of that like i said we there's the names are there. You look it up yourself. The flight logs are there. You look that up yourself. You know Literally what I'm saying? everything there, you need to know. There's you can plenty. Find yeah, there's plenty of content out there for you to like update yourself with. We don't really need to go into full blown detail unless something comes up that we feel like you absolutely need to know. But we feel like you do absolutely need to like take the time to research what we're talking about. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, because it could happen to anybody or anybody's absolutely. kids. Like yeah, you know what I mean? So absolutely, most definitely. Most definitely. And you would be surprised. You will be surprised, like, who, who's actually a victim right. of something of yeah. that. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, you know, um, well, you know what? Let, let's move on to hmm, next five. Actually, let's take a quick commercial break and then, uh, yeah, a quick break and we'll be right back. Hey, guys, it's Cody with Box Up Vibes. Stop what you're doing. Go on social media, Facebook. Go to our, go to our platform. Click on the link and put your email in. You'll be notified when our grand opening for our store is. Get some great merchandise. We'll be back with you. Welcome back to uh, Box Stuff Vibes. Uh, moving on from the trial, uh, let's let's talk about a little local weather. And I guess you could say, you know, everyone's being impacted by it. But we, uh, I stumbled across an article this morning that, you know, the word that caught my uh, my eye was nocturnal. You know, I really felt like they could have just used, you know, expect the possibility of tornadoes or, tor- you know, that type right. of weather at night. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Instead, they're all like, you know, there's a chance of nocturnal tornadoes. So immediately I'm like, what the hell? Plays an animal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I mean, there, there there's a, a good chance that we, we might see some naders tonight. A bunch. A supposedly, bunch. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like late. I think it's supposed to happen at like 12 to 4 maybe. Oh damn! I didn't worst. know it was that long. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, yeah. You know, and that and that's something that, you know, I kind of feel like um, it's been a while since our area has seen a uh, a nice tornado. You know. Yeah. For uh, sure. I think last year uh, there was one that touched down, but it only touched down for like, like a second. Yeah. And it wasn't very long. At and all. it wasn't very long. But normally, you know, there for a while, I felt like this area was constantly seeing at least one or kind two. Kind of scattered. I feel like a lot of times it goes like right around us. Like every yeah, single yeah, time, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, it's almost like we're sitting in a bowl almost, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it's December 10th. Yes, I know. Like, Ooh, we're just, yes, well, you know, speaking of which, great, great. I'm glad you said that. Listen, okay, because there's so much stuff that's going on. Right. And uh, December 11th is a big day, you know? Uh, that's when that quote-unquote asteroid is, is, is supposed to... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, enter the atmosphere. Uh, <laughs> we have all this crazy ass weather, which if you look at the storms that are happening, uh, from my understanding from the guy that I, I follow the weather, I don't watch uh, the weather and stuff on the news. I don't, I don't fuck with the news right. uh, on the TV and stuff. Uh, there's multiple storms coming. Uh, like kind of back to back to back. It's like, here's a day of storms and you're going to get a break. And then here's another day of storms. Oh, you're really? gonna get a break. Yeah. And so I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I mean, I don't expect to see anything in the sky on Saturday, you know, but I mean, just in the case I do, I mean, I got my telescope primed <laughs> right. and ready. Ready to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm ready to go outside and, and stargaze and see if I can't catch something, you know? Uh, so I, I am excited for that. Uh, I'm not nervous at all. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, you know, what, what, what is the thing? Because they Scientists did say that there is the possibility that if some of it comes in, it, it could it's going to break up. But there could be like the chance that there's you know some of it stays together intact enough to where if it hits in the right spot, it could wipe out some cities. Right. You know. So put on your rain jackets and uh, duck and cover. <laughs> it's, it's cloudy with a chance of asteroids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I used to love storms until I had a kid. Really? Yeah, now I'm terrified. Why? 
have you seen Twister? <laughs> oh well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I love storms. Uh, right. You know that that is one thing that whenever I came back from the military, I like for whatever reason I was just like, oh, I'm going to get better. Obviously, I'm like, I'm not getting better. Right. Uh, but I wanted to storm chase. That was one of the things that I wanted to do. Like I had this thing where it was, you know, I was I was going to go fucking chase these naders. I was going to be that guy. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't think it's. I think it's just tornadoes that scare me. I'm scared to death. Like the wind is gonna take her and just. Have you ever been fucking in one? Flinger a tornado? Yeah. No, the closest I've ever, my uh, my aunt lives out on a, out in Philpot, mm -hmm. and like their house is right next to a cornfield, and on the very opposite side of the cornfield, we could see the tornado from her front yard. But really? that's the closest I've ever been. Really, in. Yeah. really, really. Wow. Yeah. I mean, tornadoes are pretty intense, man. They they are pretty intense. Uh, but but it is something that they, you know intrigued me. You know uh, my mom, <laughs> bless her. She 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 did get me like I was scared of storms at one point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Until uh, I I experienced my first tornado by myself, and you know I, I'm sitting up fucking huddled up underneath these stairs, man. And I mean there's fucking pans and everything. Like you just Holy hear this stuff shit. getting ripped out of the fucking cabinets, and there's just banging against the walls, flying out the windows and shit. Like you hear all this stuff going on and stuff. Oh and my god! Oh, it, it sounded like a train, man. It, it was just g going through the house. It, oh, it was insane. It was insane. And there was this one time whenever I was <laughs> driving down Dixie, coming back from Louisville, and this was the second tornado that I experienced. Um, and I just see this big ass gray cloud, just just fucking just. I mean, this thing was huge, just fucking getting it. And like, people, <laughs> people are jumping out their cars, running up to people's houses and shit, trying to get in. Oh people my are God. all like, it's, it's great. Oh, man, it was crazy. And I'm just sitting in my car like, oh, this is fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It That's was crazy. Nice. Yeah, but since then, you know, that I've always been, like, intrigued by the weather. I've always been, like, I've had that, like, adrenaline rush to, like, right. go and, like, understand, like, tornadoes. I can't do it, dog. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I love being outside before a storm, like, when it's calm and, like, really warm. And, right. You know, like, shit's about to hit the fucking fan. Yeah. But when shit hits the fan, I'm out. Like, <laughs> right. I, mean, I gotta go. Right. Well, I mean, I, I definitely, uh, you know, I jump to action. I am that guy. Like, if something happens and I feel like, you know, if I even get, like, my spidey sense goes off, <laughs> it's just like I'm grabbing blankets, I'm throwing kids in the fucking tub, you know? Like, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I will do that, but right. then I'm on the porch. I'm like, you guys stay the fuck in there. <laughs> yeah, you know? shut the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm outside but just watching this. You know? Ain't no way. I, when I lived out there on 405, um, there was a couple times. I had gotten this, like, spotlight for Christmas and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And there was a couple times that... The, the weather got a little nasty and stuff, and they were talking about tornadoes. I'm out there, like, <laughs> kids are, like, screaming, Dad, come inside. I'm out there with this light, <laughs> like, looking for this shit. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. That was actually out there on 405. I got a pretty crazy story with that, too. You know, they had that big-ass, um, I mean, what is that, a transformer that sat across from my house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I always, like, when I first moved there, you know, me being the asshole that I am, I'm like, oh man, it'd be so cool to see like that thing blow up. <laughs> 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 fucking wrong, right? <laughs> like, I take it back. Oh man, it, I, I fucking I had to catch my soul, <laughs> <laughs> bring it back down to my body. Was it super loud? It was loud. It yeah. was fucking loud. And, I mean, uh, I haven't heard anything that loud since Afghanistan. Really. <laughs> really? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, it, it, I was super close to your house, though. It, it was super close. Like, right next to your It house. was not a good idea for a guy with PTSD. Oh, <laughs> so my God. There. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, it was it was loud and shook the house and everything. And, I mean, big flash of light. I, I, mean, I thought we got nuked. I was like, fuck, that's it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it happened. <laughs> like, there's the flash. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's the flash. Get the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It was. It was. But thankfully, it was just lightning that hit that shit. Yeah. And it just fucking blew up. Um, you know, and then the, the car wrecks on that road. There was a lot of crazy-ass car wrecks on 405. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen any, like, actual, like, crazy-ass legit car wrecks happen in front of you. Not in front of me, but, like... I can imagine. It There's so road. many hit and runs that happened on that road. Really? I mean, dude was jumping out of his car, chasing the other guy and stuff. And I mean, so many so crazy shit. One of them was a cop. One of them was a cop. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, it was it was wild out there. The 405 is wild, wild west out that way. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. That that road by the lake, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I about wreck every time I go down that road. Really? Yeah, because I fly, and fly then I hit down. it, and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, 
looking forward to the storms, but at the same time, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the nighttime possibilities of tornadoes just for the fact that, you know, you can't really see it's coming. You, you I know think know that's I mean? what scares me about tonight. Yeah, that- yeah. And I, I do remember my, like, my mom, like I said, my mom always got really nervous when storms were coming and stuff. And, um, so, yeah, man. I mean, I, I understand the nervousness and uh, part of that because, like I said, I had my moment whenever I kind of feared that stuff, but. I got over it quickly whenever I experienced it. For sure. Myself. Dude. <laughs> but we're, we're going to take a quick break and we'll uh, keep on with the vibes. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Box Stuff Vibes. It's Matt here. You vibing out to the games is your thing? Come follow us at XJ underscore crawler 1997. There that man go. You can follow Wes at Afghan Doll. We're always on the station, we're always on the Twitch. Come vibe with us. Welcome back to Box of Vibes. Um, staying on weather vibes. Um, how much of the uh, the weather do you feel like is like? Well, let me ask you this: Do you feel like the possibility of controlling weather <laughs> is real? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So you believe in like what is it? Harp? Is that what it was? Harp? Harp? Am I, I saying it right? I think so. Yeah. So you believe in all that because sure. yeah. Okay. Well, that's great because I kind of feel like that's what's going on with the volcano out there in La Bama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're talking about weather, and I really feel like you know, there's um, now I don't know necessarily that the weather has anything to do with it, um, but I know something fishy is definitely going on out there, and I feel like there's like some possibilities of like some quote-unquote controlling shit going on like right. you know intentional eruption type shit going yeah, on yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know what sure. i mean uh and, and i i don't know how much of a a, a weather factor is going to play but i kind of feel like you know that it does have something to do with it in some kind of way i feel like they're manipulating something whether it's the weather whether it's the underneath the ground somewhere they're heating something up with yeah the, you, you know what i mean yeah uh because there have has been those those videos where uh, the volcanoes got struck with lightning, and then they started erupting. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like that's kind of fucking weird, you yeah. know. And I feel like with how advanced people like we are in technology and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you have scientists that know how all that shit works. Yeah. How couldn't you fake it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So. Most definitely. I mean, and I haven't checked on La Palma uh, today yet. Right. Uh, but I mean, there's constantly earthquakes and stuff like that going on out there. I mean, the thing's been erupting or doing its thing for, I mean, well, well this is quite a while now. Uh, I think yeah. it's approaching like over 85 days or somewhere in there. We're getting close right, yeah, to that mark. Time. Yeah. And look, it's as well has cracked. Okay. And I kind of went hush hush on the whole volcano thing <laughs> because when I brought it up to Matt and them, they were just like, you know, didn't really say much. Right. It's like, that, cool, bro. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, the damn thing's now cracked. Right, yeah. <laughs> and you can you know, visually see where it's like falling the fuck apart and shit like that. And it's just like, you know, are the, is someone intentionally trying to make this thing? That's just kind of the vibes I'm getting now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, because it feels like, I feel like it tries to go to sleep. It's like, okay, I'm going to mm-hmm. calm the fuck back down. And then I don't know where it just spurs the fuck back the up. Damn back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have all these earthquakes that fucking happen. And then this thing's just fucking spitting fire for, for fucking sure. the next 15 days. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I, so obviously I feel like they're trying to heat this thing up enough from the bottom to where it's just going to make this thing Erupt. Oh. fall into the fucking yeah. ocean and, and, and send that wall of, of water uh, the East Coast way. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and then there's still, like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, viewers, Vena, I haven't seen anything on the actual local news, Fox News, or anything, even really talking about the volcano at all. I didn't see anything until you sent me something. That really? was the first time I'd seen it, yeah. Really? Yeah, and I mean, it's just, it's one of those things, almost like the trial, mm-hmm. that I feel like is not really being talked about much, but I think that the reason why it's not being shown is because people are going to catch on, like, wait a minute, like... That's fucked. Yeah, like, yeah. this thing's got to be getting fucked with. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, for sure. You know, and I think that that's where a lot of people's feelings are now starting to go, like, because they have these YouTube lives set up right. to where you can go and you can watch the volcano, you can chat and interact with people and stuff, and... 
in there you see it where people are all like, man, this is definitely someone's fucking with this. You know, someone's someone's messing with this volcano. Someone's making this happen. You know what I mean? So I mean, I don't know if that's your conspiracy theorist like jumping on there and stuff like that, but it right. seems like more so from the beginning of this thing to where it's at now, like from when it started first initially to where it's at now, there's more so people that are speaking in those manners. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So that's kind of what's raised my eyes, eyebrows in that level as well. So that's another one. We, we've mentioned the trial, and I'll, I, I will continue to mention La Palma. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with being prepared. You know, they may not know how to, like, do it yet. They might just be trying, and that's why it's not getting any, like, publicity, I guess. And then once they, like, figure out like what they're doing and how they're going to do it or whatever, then I'm, I bet it comes on that. So news. you think they're just waiting for the buildup? Yeah. Like, so right yeah. right now, like these cracks and all this stuff supposed to happen. When it gets to a certain point, right. they're going to say, okay, hey, now we hey, need to flash it Hey, this is about to happen on the news. But that's whatever. what I'm getting to. Yeah. Like, I think that it's okay. People need to understand that, especially if you live on the East Coast, Florida, all, all you guys on the East Coast, like uh, even the West Coast, anybody that lives in any kind of border of water, right. you know, uh, you need to be prepared. And take, uh, you know, preparations for if something like this happened, you know, uh, the possibility and the percentage and chances of, of, of this possibly happening raises like the stock market. Every right. some day is higher than others and the, the days is lower, but this, the possibility of it is still there. There's nothing wrong with making sure that you have some kind of plan, evacuation plan, uh, finding your own resources on ways to keep up with the volcano if it's active and it's erupting and stuff like that. So that way you're up to date on your information because what we're just saying, our media is not covering this. They're not letting you know these things and stuff like that. And it's so it's important for you to go out there and find your own resources uh, so that way you can keep up and, and keep your family safe. For sure. Absolutely. So the, the volcano... What are the chances you think that if, okay, let's say the rock slides, mm -hmm. like I, I don't personally believe, cause like I said, it's not that I don't trust science, but I don't think that there's going to be this massive ass wall that they speak of of water. I think there will be some kind of flooding, you know what I'm saying? I think right. there's definitely going to be some kind of flooding, you know, and possibly a, a small tsunami type ordeal go on still enough where people need to be prepared and stuff like that. Uh, that's kind of where, where I feel at it. Uh, I mean, how, how, how do you feel about how it? How far out is it? You know, I'm not for sure. I can't. I can't. Remember. I, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, I, I know that there is a uh, a couple of people on YouTube. Uh, you can look them up on TikTok. Uh, that they, they post a lot of videos quite frequently on TikTok that that, that are keeping up with the uh, um, the volcano itself and the imagery out there. Is I mean, yeah, it's crazy to see and crazy of the events right. that could occur. But, but I mean, the imagery out there is really cool. You, yeah. you know, it is some cool uh, sights. Uh, to see at times uh, you feel sorry for anybody that's been impacted by any of these volcanoes that have erupted this year um but yeah i mean i i kind of feel like it's it's one that's very important for people to pay attention to you know that's that's pretty much where we're going to wrap it up with the the volcano at you know is <laughs> just, just make sure that you're paying yeah, attention to the trial pay attention. paying attention to uh the La Palma situation the volcano situation um and well, we're going to take a quick break and we'll, we'll, we'll come right back with our next, uh, next five. Hey guys, it's Cody with Box Up Vibes. Stop what you're doing. Go on social media, Facebook. Go to our, go to our platform, click on the link, and put your email in. You'll be notified when our grand opening for our store is. Get some great merchandise. We'll be back with you. Welcome back to uh, Box Up Vibes. Uh, Vina, we'll let you throw out a vibe out there. I've kind of threw out two already, <laughs> I guess you could say. So, I want to know your opinion on something. Okay. So, you know Kim Kardashian broke up with Kanye West, right? I did not know this. Okay. Do you know who Pete Davidson is? Pete Davidson. I do not. For real? I don't. The comedian? Hmm. Real tall, skinny, lanky boy. He's on a SNL. Oh, okay. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, now I do. Yes. They're dating. Okay. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Run, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. I fucking, I didn't believe it when I first saw it, but I was just kind of curious on your opinion that he's dating Kim Kardashian. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean... He, hey, he's he's got plans to to make his move in, in the fame world and stuff, and you got to be with the Kardashians if you want that to happen. I mean, for <laughs> sure, but like <laughs> chasing that clout. <laughs> so he lived in uh, his mom's basement 
till like two years ago. He definitely sold his soul. And then two years later, he's with Kim Kardashian. Yeah, he sold his soul. He definitely sold Something his soul. Whenever he, he, whenever he lit the candles to sell his soul, Kim Kardashian's who's fucking appeared. Ooh. She's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> what's <laughs> up? I'm here. I got, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so he dated uh, um, Ariana Grande. Like Damn. Af- after Mac Miller dated her. Same guy? Yes, that got Pete Davidson. Oh, he definitely sold his fucking soul. So listen, he dated uh, Ariana Grande and they were engaged and everything. And I don't, I didn't really keep up with it, but something happened and like they hate each other and shit now or whatever. But he did a stand up on Netflix where it was like right after they broke up where he talked about it. But he was like, he talked about being scared because she was so powerful and like she could take him out and all this Ariana shit. Ariana Grande? Yes. Yes. That little innocent thing? Yes. Can't see it. And now he, now like now he's with fucking Kim K who's You think Ariana much Grande took powerful. out Mac? After him saying that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've thought about it, yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's that's where my mind just went when you said that, because I mean That was the first thing I thought of too well, at first. Yeah. R.I.P. Mac. Right. Miss you. For sure. I miss you. Wow, man, that, that kinda my mind's blown right now. Yeah. I, I need a moment. Like, like do you have Netflix? You watch Netflix? Yeah, I do. You can go watch that stand up. It's weird. Like normally, he speaks about it in the stand up. Yes, he, oh, normally wow, okay. he's like funny, like kind of sarcastic. You know what I mean? And yeah. this stand up is like way the fuck off. What? I cannot think of the name of it, but I think it's like there's only two on there. But like his whole his demeanor, like his I don't know, everything is off. Wow. So you think that like he's already kind of like fucking going through it? Oh yeah. Like, well, I meant. Probably. Yeah, well, you know, because, you know, since we're speaking about, like, why I mentioned the selling of your soul, which I believe, you know, call me a loony if you want to, but if you believe in God and, you know, the light of things and stuff like that, there's always the darkness, you know, sure. uh, uh, side of things as well. And I do believe in the, the possibility of selling one's soul. Uh, oh, yeah. For, you know, fame, whatever. Anything. I mean, yeah, whatever you want in life, you know. Um, and I do believe that that is something that, has happened to a lot of our Hollywood celebrities, people that you see in the music industry, on your films and stuff like that. Kids that, that even streamers, gaming streamers and stuff like For that. Sure, I, I anybody, think, I mean, anybody. Yeah, yeah. There's there's all kinds of avenues of approach where it's just like you know if you want to be a famous author, you, you know what I mean? Like, right. like I'm gonna sell my soul. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah, it most definitely can happen to anyone. With that being said, um, I do believe that's what's going on with the Kim Kardashian guy, uh, because I mean, let's just face it. Let's go back to Astro World. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who's linked to that? You mm-hmm. know, there, there, there's Kardashian sisters involved in that. You know, with uh, he just dropped an interview about Astro World too. Did Travis he really? Scott did, yeah. Like two days ago with uh, Charlemagne the God. Damn, I'll have to go check into that because uh, you know that's news that just kind of died down, just disappeared. Wicked shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone definitely fucking got paid. Uh, oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's just you know. I don't think people realize how powerful the world is that we live in. You know, the, 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 oh, the yeah. possibilities of, of things that are around us. You know, the things that we can, even just sitting here we're in, in our little podcast area. You know, the things that we can bring to light just by speaking them. You, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's just, if you truly, I, I'm a firm believer. If you truly believe in something and visualize in that thing, um... That you can bring it to reality, and at the same time, I kind of feel like that that can be a form of selling one's soul because you you hear the stories about people that you know they'll, they'll think about being famous on there. That you know they, they want to be that famous singer or that famous actor, and that's all they think about. It's like I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and then they 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 I can't. There's an artist that just spoke about this that where you know heard that voice in his head. You know, Island Boy guy, the Island, the Island Boy, Boy just guy, said yeah. it, said that. You know, and there was another rapper that said that. But once they said that. He said he, he, out of like the very next day, started. He, he wasn't happy anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he felt sad, felt depressed, had all this money. Like just, he, I mean, just started blowing up and, and, and accumulating all this money. And that was it. Yeah, nothing There's made a, thing, a lot. I feel like a lot of them do that. Really? Yeah. I, I, I think yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think a good majority of the industry, the entertainment industry, um, has the possibility that someone did something shady to get to where they're at. And I feel like once, like, that person can get to that level and make, you know, make em- enough money and get connections, then they can do it to anybody they want. 
like give the power to anyone they want. I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of like whenever I talk about this stuff, it makes me think about Mel Gibson because I don't know if you've ever seen the videos where like they they uh, there's been numerous talk show hosts that like when they introduce him, they call him the Messiah. Like, really? Yeah, they, and like he makes like these hand gestures and shit like that. Most recent one just happened, uh, I think a couple months ago or something like that. And he did the same fucking like little hand gesture and shit. Like after, yeah, it's it's pretty fucking. And what you, the fuck? And, and you think about the movies that he's produced. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. with the, with the, the he he wasn't he the one that uh, produced the religious one about um, the Christ one? Um, I like. Oh yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of Jesus and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. And it's just like you know, whenever you you stop and like think about that shit, and it's just like people are like literally introducing this man as like the Messiah, yes. and like then he like makes this gesture, and it's just like Mel Gibson's one of those people that like he kind of disappeared there for a fucking yeah. while. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then if you listen to his story um, about how he got into acting, like it, it's almost like. A, a so soldier soul moment you, you know what i mean really yeah because he just uh he was sick brought his friend to uh he, he was bringing a friend to their 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 little scripted little i yeah. guess audition and um they asked him who are you and he's like oh i'm just such and such and stuff i'm sick blah, 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 blah. and they're like well come back they took a picture of him come back whenever you, you feel better <laughs> excuse me time passes he, he goes back and stuff like that. Gets the fucking role to Mad Max. The lead role. He said he walks in, tells a joke, and gets the lead role to fucking Mad Max. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. And then it's just like, then you got people that, like, you know, all these people are all like, oh, the Messiah. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. It just kind of fucking tripped nuts, me out. Dog. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. I never heard that. Yeah, but. yeah. There, there, is, there is some kind of, like, but I think that once you do your, like, research on them, every celebrity or like just you know there's there's odd in ones that have like these weird things that it's just like man that was kind of like you know what i mean like right quinky dink yeah you, you know the, what's the dude's name that played um oh jim carrey yeah yeah, yeah. Like, i mean he literally came out and said that pretty much exactly and that's kind of like wow me for, and now he's I'm sorry gone. people like nobody talks to him well, anymore. I, I believe that uh that's who killed his girl, like his girlfriend and stuff. When he, when oh he, yeah, when he came on, uh, what was it, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Kimball, and was doing all the symbolizing. Oh, the symb all like, yeah. yeah, he's like, yo, you don't know. Tell me, you don't know about the Illuminati and yeah, stuff like, like that. Yeah, like joking, but yeah. wasn't joking. Yes, yes, exactly. And it's just like you know, I can get into Jim Carrey because I feel like the Jim Carrey that we see now uh, is a clone. I do. I am. Do you? I, oh yeah, I do. I believe that. Uh, but I mean, we've had that brought up in, in past episodes about the clone. Uh, where, you know, I, I do feel like that if there's people that they feel like are going to press too much out there, mm -hmm. they silence them. Right. And, and that's their way of silencing. Now, well, let's get to a break and they'll come back and we'll talk, we'll talk more about that. Hey guys, it's Cody with Box Up Vibes. Stop what you're doing. Go on social media, Facebook. Go to our, go to our platform, click on the link, and put your email in. Be notified when our grand opening for our store is. Get some great merchandise. We'll be back with you. Hello and welcome back to Box of Vibes. Talking about clones. Um, yeah, the process for it. This is and this is just my theory, okay? Because I, what I what I where I want to take people is remember way back when and it was announced on the news. I remember sitting in Fort Knox looking at the TV and seeing them speak about. Uh, cloning the sheep. Oh, yeah. And then you never heard about it again. Didn't they do a cow, too? You know, I don't know. I, I do. I remember the sheep. I do remember the sheep. I remember... Uh, a cow, too. I, I vividly remember the sheep. And then you never heard about it again. And then as time went on, the conspiracy side of me, you know, grew more and more and more and more. And you see all these crazy videos of different celebrities, different like political figures and stuff, acting in weird ways and stuff like that. And then I stumbled across like these, I'm not gonna say how I got them, but the, I stumbled across this stuff and pretty much that's what it talks about is almost like the quote unquote process of a, of, a, right. of cloning, yeah. you know? And like, it was pretty sketchy about how like they would like, and that's what I think happened to Jim Carrey and it happens to numerous celebrities. Like they, they take you, um, they pretty much, groom you like, right, like right. they use you to groom your clone you get what i'm saying like yeah. to like you know they they, they have this how clone they want you to be yes learns everything about you 
You know what I'm saying? Your movements, your laughter, like all this crazy ass stuff. Right. Now, whether or not they go and they kill you afterwards, after the, the completion of grooming, you know, because I feel like each clone definitely has a handler. There's always a handler oh, yeah. for every clone because, I mean, I think uh, that your, your Conor McGregor, you know, that you see now that Dana White is his ha- handler. I truly fucking believe that. There's, there, there's, there's videos out there that, like, it, I, they just kind of fuck with you. Right. When you, when you, you stop and think about what I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, whether or not they, they're killing these celebrities or they're just silencing them and saying, hey, go live this lavish fucking life. Take your money. Go do you. We're going to let this person, like, fucking be you now. Yeah. You know? Uh, or if they're like fucking whacking them and just like we just lived in this big ass corrupt world where it's just like you know they're cloning fuckers and it, which is scary because it's, it's a soulless being you know and then biblical fucking you know for sure speaks of yeah. soulless beings and in, 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 in our end times and stuff like that you know walking amongst us and stuff that's where my mind goes whenever I think about clones and stuff you know it's, it's just those are soulless beings you know oh yeah and, and the thing that you pay attention to is the eyes every celebrity LeBron uh, Eminem and all them, they say their eyes like it's like they have no colors. There's like how, how, how my eyes are brown, it would just be black. black yeah. yeah. No, I agree. 100%. What's your thoughts on cloning? I know I've just went on a complete rant for probably no, you're good. good three minutes. <laughs> but hey, the clones got me because I think it's very, very real. Right. So uh, we talked about it on that episode that we couldn't air. But, is uh, that what it was? Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. You guys have no idea. Like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I do believe in that. Like I said, uh, I told you about that rapper who came out and was like, yeah, I'm a clone, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, and then I think he passed that. away or whatever. He's from Florida. But, yeah, 100%. And I think sometimes, like, if they don't want to clone somebody or whatever, they use the same person to be somebody else. Like the... Uh, like Amy Winehouse is now Lady Gaga. Lolly, Lady Gaga, yes, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I do remember us having this conversation now. Yeah, but we could not air that Clone Aid. That the rapper that yes, you're speaking yes, of, yes. he used Clone Aid, and that's the same stuff that I stumbled across. Because I remember that day, I was like flabbergasted. Yeah, that you you mentioned that, and then we looked it up, and we seen that he said he was he was cloned by a uh, Clone Aid. Yeah, and yeah, it just threw me for the biggest loop. If you haven't looked up uh, Clone Aid. Or if you haven't even like researched clone, the possibility of cloning is like, please, that's another one that we encourage you to. Uh, uh, and that one's easier to find information on. Yeah, too. absolutely. It's 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 a good easy little rabbit hole to yeah. jump jump down. Um, and you know, do your DD, do your research. You know, uh, look up and, and you know, just be open to the experience that you know this could be very well be your reality. You know, uh, which I kind of think that uh, the cloning and the AI have a lot of similarities and, and fall into the same categories and stuff like that because there's a part of me that that thinks that i'm not gonna lie there's part of me that thinks elon musk might be an ai and I mean, that's why fucking he's fucking weird and his that's why he's weirder. yeah well i mean that's why he's trying to introduce the whole little like chip into the mm-hmm. like the per- by people. next year yes by 2022 if you didn't yes. know that that's fucking coming too people uh but i do believe and see that's the thing i used to be a big elon musk guy really uh, oh I, I was i was um and I do, res- I still respect him, but I have seen some videos where, guys, this man might be his own fucking test subject. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think he's a fucking AI. <laughs> like, but he's weird. Like, I've, I've, uh, back when they had their kid or whatever, and they named it the, you know, robot fucking noise. Um, I watched a video <laughs> with his wife, and she was, she's just as weird, if not worse. Really? Yeah. They're really? both weird as shit. Damn. Like, I feel well, like his, he's his really mom, smart. His mom like... looks like a fucking leader of another planet. Like, <laughs> she looks like she could definitely fucking rule. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. And I feel like with him, too, he like he's the first person to do, like, weird shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, AIs and, like, Yes, Teslas like, like the whole, yes, exactly. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, look what he's trying to give us. You yeah. know? Like, bro, you you've got some advanced shit going on up there because yeah. you're a fucking robot guy. Fuck like, yeah. <laughs> you you're may have the fucking world. You may have the heart of a fucking human, but I think you got the brain of a fucking AI. Like, I really do because, Vina, there's this video and you guys can go look this up. I, it's, it, it was semi-hard for me to find, uh, but I had caught wind of it off TikTok and so I went and like, Doug on Duck Duck Go. Right. Go get you some Duck Duck Go. <laughs> See, <laughs> truth seekers. Uh, He's explaining this shit to this person that, like, 
reporter and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they're walking through a factory or facility or something like that. And like his gesture, he stops and you can see something bulge out of his neck. And he's all like, like his eyes look around. He just like makes this movement and then everything like goes back normal. He starts speaking and shit again like nothing happened. What the fuck? It was like he fucking malfunctioned right before us, fixed himself and was just like, hey, yo, it's me. Like, no, bro. Like, you straight up just, like, fucking, like, glitched, bro. Like, and you could oh clearly see something in his neck. And he was all, like, like I, I don't know. It was fuck. Sorry for the sound effects. It was weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, It makes me think of that, uh, that shit with Hillary Clinton whenever they won the, uh, oh, they won something back when she was running or whatever. And, like, the confetti's falling down. And, right. like, she just, like, stops and, like does the weirdest fucking movement ever. Yes. And everybody called her out on it. Yes. Well, you know, and it's like, you know, you think about, uh, who is it? Prince, uh, one of the princes, they have that video of his, uh, is it Kate? Um, where she looks like a fucking oh, robot. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it does not look like a real person whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, that video still gives me chills. Yeah. Like, when I watch it just by her face and stuff, and there's multiple videos uh, yeah. of that person or thing, whatever it is. And I personally think that that's, like, fucking... Her eyes are weird, too. Really, like... In real time? Yeah. Like, all the time, I feel like her eyes are weird looking. Well, you know, I think she might be an AI. Probably. I think she might be, because I, I really do. I think that, you know... What Elon Musk is trying to introduce to us, you know, Wait, Kate that, or Megan? The, 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 you know, I'm not for sure now. I think it's Megan. It's Megan, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, but you know, at the same time, it makes you think that you know maybe right. some sketchy ass shit went behind the doors and they whacked her, and this is just like you know you fucking like this is this is her now. Oh wait a minute! Back all the way up to the trial, uh -oh. real quick. Oh shit! They <laughs> just released pictures of Bill and Hillary at the Queen's uh, cabin. Shit, yes. Yes, I do remember yes. that. Yes. That's fucking nuts. I mean, it's not, but like. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, it is sorry, gross. I had to... You know, Hillary, she's got what's coming to her. They're, oh yeah, they, they all yeah, do. At the yeah. end of the day, they all they all have what's coming to them. And I, I think that all that shit comes out, and, and if people really pay attention, because there's so many people that are just blinded by the. the it's just silly to me how people are not seeing stuff yet. You yeah. Know what I mean, now don't get me wrong. There have been a lot of people that have woken up quote unquote and, and, and are yeah. seeing the bullshit like they're seeing through the lines now you know that you know but I think that because of that because of where we are how much how easy it's just put in front of us and how they, it's almost like they just flaunt it in our faces and, and laugh about it almost right you know what I mean I feel like you know like is it too late at times you know like if something does happen like it's not going to change anything anyway because we're, we're already so far like into it yeah you know what I mean absolutely um, there, there is those thoughts that happen in, in that accord um but back to the cloning shit like let's say they cloned you okay let's say the time comes and it, well you know what let's take a quick break and I, I <laughs> we're gonna dive into this we're gonna have fun hey everyone thanks for tuning in to boxed up vibes you can follow the guys on their tiktok accounts you can follow cody at Cody Curry, 52. Follow Matt at There That Man Go. And you can follow Wes at Chris21W. Thanks for tuning in to Boxed Up Vibes. All right. Jumping back into the uh, cloning vibes, I guess we could say is what we're in on. So let's say that in AI, AI vibes, we were discussing that as well. Just where, like, you know, like I said, that's 2022, that, that neuro, is it Neuralink? Is what yeah. I just trying to introduce? Like, yeah. that, that, that's, like, here, people on our doorstep, you know? Um, let's say that the possibility of, they gave you the chance to either choose a cloning or an AI and stuff like that, like, how do you think it would be, like, having another, like, Vina walk amongst us? And, you know what I mean? Like, do you, like. Would I still be here? Yeah, most definitely. Like you get to chill with it. Like that's it, you. Like if, oh, like you know if, if there's a day well, like, shit. you don't want to go to fucking work, you're like fucking. Fuck yeah, I would never go back to work. Yeah, like I, I kind of <laughs> I kind of feel like that that that's where it would turn into Wally. I think that's a possibility. Is you know what I mean? Think of yeah. I think because you know they're introducing the metaverse, and as much as people love gaming. Oh, for sure. People love gaming. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And the people are already buying the properties. You know, they're bringing so many different avenues into this as far as, like, the stock market goes and stuff. All these right. people are, like, buying these properties. Like, like right now, someone could probably buy this house in the metaverse. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And, like, so you have this stuff going on. It's like, people are talking about it. They're going to go live here. They're going to go live in the metaverse and stuff right. like that. And it's just like, okay, so 
if they bring the clones and the AIs, and they're like, you know what, I'm gonna go chill in the fucking metaverse today, you go fucking work the nine to five, and it's like they're sending them out because, you know, a lot of people don't believe that LeBron, that was LeBron James clone and stuff like that, you know, but then right. you have the big group of people that really believe that was possibly a clone and him sitting out there. That's where it brings, like, it's like they're grooming us For to sure. understand that, like, hey, this is going to be a possibility one day. It's like we, a soft introduction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, they slowly groom us in so many different ways yeah. where it's just like, you know, this is a possibility. So, like, you, you're going to send the, the clone out to go be Nurse Vina? Like, if you have the possibility to chill at home and... Yeah, but who wouldn't? You know what I mean? Like, I do... I feel like there's a lot of people that wouldn't, like, necessarily go, like, into the metaverse or whatever when it happened, but, right. like... Like, would just stay at home? Yeah. Like, I stayed home with this instead of going to work. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm here a lot, but, but, I, but, I mean, knowing my luck, let's say they fucking clone West, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what, okay, you, you, you go work today. I'm going to stay the fuck at home. My luck, my soulless version of me is, is going to be the one that's fucking popping up on CNN, fucking leading the fucking clone <laughs> fucking clone <laughs> revolution, like, right. or AI revolution. Yeah, man, and I mean, that's just like, because that's where, like, the Terminator and shit like that, when you go back, man, like, they groom us, I'm telling you, like, clone shit's going to come into play, uh, the AI shit's going to come into play, they're going to make it a lot more comfortable for people, and, because, I mean, they're introducing so many different things, like the right. suicide pods, and... All that different thing. So you got suicide pods, you got AI, you got clones and stuff like that. And suicide pods is something we can save for another episode because I right. do think it's important to talk about because the fact that those things are even an option is just kind of fucking weird to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll get into the suicide pods in another episode. But you got to think about the things like the groundwork that's being laid out in front of us for what is to come in our future years. And I feel like <clears throat> we talked about having handlers and stuff, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. And I feel like in the beginning, like once it happens, like more and more people are going to do it, get used to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then once so many people have it, then I feel like it'll blow up. Really? So like they're going to show like make you think you're the handler and like you do this and you do that with them or whatever. And then like once so many people get them and they have like an army per se of them like then they can just like flip it on you and you don't fucking control it at all oh shit that's just like doomsday so that's like your term- but, like, terminator fucking right, theory yeah. coming out there it yeah. can happen though yeah you know absolutely what I mean? yeah well, like well, la palma's a possibility so. <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen. Yeah. yeah but yeah uh, no i do think it's i think it's important like i said i think we've touched on some 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 very good topics today uh that you know with the trial uh, the cloning uh, La Palma, uh, the, the possibility of like, well, the neural link that's coming in 2022 that Elon Musk, the, the president of AIs himself, right. is introducing to everyone. Um, I think it's important for people to like really take the, ch- the, the chance to understand what's going on. Like, do your research and, and see what's like what we're talking about for yourself. Um, I think that, you know, we're coming into a close for this episode. I, I do want to pick up on the clones and stuff our next episode i think that we are on a, on some good subjects uh that i think are worth talking about oh, you know sure. I, I think that there, there's a lot of things that are, are fixing to come our way uh that we'll, we'll speak on a little bit more about the neural links and stuff like that and like actually what that is so that way if our viewers are not doing their research right we'll, we'll go out there and then we'll, we'll update and inform you ourselves and I do think if you do research it, like, I don't think it's a reason to panic or anything yet. Correct. You know what I mean? No, but, no. Like, well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to scare nobody. No, no. Yeah. Right. yeah I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, like, yeah. I don't... We're not trying to build fear. Right. Just right. let you know what's coming. You know what I mean? Right. It's our future. Like, it's, it's what's upon us. You know, you know what I mean? I definitely do think you should read about it. Yeah. Clone Aid's a real thing. Yeah. You can look up the company. Go go Absolutely. do your research on Clone Aid. Um, you can find something on clones on almost any, like, platform. Absolutely. Like, TikTok, Instagram, it don't matter. Will like, Smith, believe it or not, people, is a big one that they're, they're, mm-hmm. saying, they're saying it's possibly a clone right now. Right. Um, yeah, I look up the La Palma. Go, you know, look up your lives on that. Uh, follow the trial. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up on the trial and give updates on that whenever we come in next week uh, as well. Um, I would like to, before we close, I would like to thank you uh, for coming in and, and, and knocking out this episode. For sure. Uh, being a part of it. It's always fun getting to hang out and talk to you. Um, I would also like to inform people that we are now on Spotify. Yes. Uh, you can listen uh, to our episodes on Spotify, and we encourage you to please do so. Spread the word on that as well. 
uh, if you if you do view uh, our content, listen to our content, we ask that you give us a like and a share, uh, and, and to continue to promote uh, Boxed Up Vibes. And we send nothing but light and love to you, and we appreciate you uh, uh, giving us your time and attention. Absolutely. Uh, for Boxed Up Vibes, I'm Wes, and this is Vina. See y'all later.